serious. serious. What's going on YouTube? A Soprano here bringing you guys another Call of Duty Ghost informational video. And today we're going to talk about all the perks that are in Call of Duty Ghost, some combinations, how to use it, the point system, and uh, how some YouTubers, some YouTube videos were wrong. The way I got this information is basically like Charlie Intel, Drifter, some interviews that I saw where they had some gameplay and they were talking about the gameplay in the background and the perks, which uh, kind of explains some of the perks that somebody got wrong. Um, yeah, so we clear up any confusion, guys. I did not copy this directly from anybody else. This is from my own research, my own videos that I watch. <clears throat> Sorry. And, yeah, basically, I'm bringing this video up to you guys so you guys could basically use this information. Any information about guns and point systems and perks and killstreaks and so you guys can start preparing for Call of Duty Ghosts. This is what I'm doing. This is my tip to you guys because this, this is what I'm going to do like i'm already thinking of perk combinations because i already know the point system i know how much everyone costs so i'm gonna already start thinking about okay this is the perks i'm gonna run once i find out like what guns and attachments there are i'm gonna start thinking about a full class that i'm gonna start using so basically so i could like maybe start creating my squads and i you know this is something i'm preparing for ahead of time so when i start playing ghost i'm not experimenting i'm already playing the game like if i was playing it for a, a week or two now so without further ado, these are the Call of Duty perks. So we have eight points or 11 points. Eight points to use if you use your tactical, your lethal, and your secondary. If you don't use all three, then basically you have 11. Each perk costs from one to five. Um, I think only a few perks cost five points, and the second highest is three. There's a possibility possibility there could be a fourth one, or a perk that costs four points, but those are locked, so we can't really tell. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to run through these pretty quick if they're pretty self-explanatory. Any new ones, I'll go ahead and explain. Uh, the first tier is speed. So we have quick draw, sleight of hand, agility, which is basically faster movement. It's the lightweight to Black Ops 2. Uh, Marathon, extreme conditioning from Black Ops 2. Stalker, which is basically like stock from the attachment of Black Ops 2. So that's speed very pretty self-explanatory there so we got the next one is handling handling the first perk right here everybody thought was toughness which it what it's not this one is for you it's called strong arm It's for you to be able to throw your lethals or non lethals or tacticals or whatever farther grenades c4s you could throw them farther which is pretty awesome if you're like you know if you're all into trying to destroy crap that's far away from you or you're trying to get somebody killed at the gas station at octane you know stuff like that the next one on the go something we never got before you could reload while running so you could run and reload at the same time instead of just standing there and being a target you could reload but while running which is pretty good uh, the next one is basically fast hand, swap weapons faster, steady aim, self-explanatory, more accurate hip fire, dexterity. This one is just for you to have your gun ready after running, kind of like steady aim pro and uh, dexterity from Black Ops 2, for the exception that you cannot, you this is not used for you to mantle over things faster. All right, the next one, stealth. Takedown is the first perk on stealth that I'll get into later on because I'll talk about the counter and what's and this perk does. So we'll jump into the next one. Blind eye, undetected by kill streaks. Off the grid is the new ghost. So UAVs are now ca called setcoms or satcoms. So instead of uh, you using ghosts to hide from satcoms, you use this one, which is off the grid. They cannot see you if they use satcoms. The next one, Dead Silence, they can't hear your footsteps. And then finally, Ghost, and this one is, like I said, it's different. If you use Ghost, they cannot see your gamer tag or crosshairs. That's the only thing Ghost does here. So if you wanna, if you wanna stay off the radar, again, off the grid is the one you would use. Next one is Awareness. This is Recon, it's the first perk, kinda like Modern Warfare 3. Throw a grenade, any type of damage you cause to an enemy, they will pop up on the radar for you. I don't know if it'll pop up as like VSAT style or just the red dot will pop up. Scavenger, obviously re-scavenge your ammo. Sit rep, kind of like hacker and sit rep from Modern Warfare 3. You can see enemy equipment, uh, also engineer from Black Ops 2. 
and we have awareness the counter to dead silence you can hear people's footsteps louder and then the last one is wiretap something new kind of like hacker but only for the satcom so if you have if you happen to find a satcom and you have this perk you can make that satcom yours that's basically all it does the next here talk about resistance and this is where we we have uh, our painkillers and our actual toughness and you know tack mask so the first one is lightweight but it's basically no falling damage I don't know why it's called lightweight or maybe the name is wrong but this first perk for sure causes no falling damage the next one is painkiller a lot of people thought that painkiller was a uh, basically something to counter snipers it kind of isn't because when you get shot and you have painkiller and your screen is all bloody it clears up faster and you you heal faster that's basically what it does you heal faster it doesn't give you any more health or anything like that it doesn't take more bullets to kill you it just causes your health to regenerate faster the next one is toughness this one is actual toughness i don't know if this one is going to be as strong as black ops 2 or is it going to be like focus for modern warfare 3 because focus reduces your flinch and this is basically what this one does and it wasn't that powerful it just kind of lowered the range from when you got shot how far how high you flinched after getting shot kind of really hope this is not like black ops 2 because black ops 2 is kind of way too strong and too many people running toughness you know it doesn't make sense i think and i i don't think there should be any toughness at all so, it, you know, it would take some kind of skill for you to get kills. The next two, obviously, Tactical Mask and uh, Blast Shield. Uh, I think it's actually called, um, let's see, it's actually called Tac Resist. I might be wrong, but this, the, what it does is Tac Resist is basically your Tactical Mask from Black Ops 2. And the next one, Blast Shield, is basically your Flat Jacket. Something you probably will need to run all the time based off the gameplay that I've seen and the other perk that I'm going to talk about which is Danger Close but we'll get to that later. The next one is equipment and in the equipment basically you get um, either extra lethal is the first one, extra grenade or non-lethal. Actually the first one is extra non-lethal, the next one is extra lethal and then the next one, the third one in the middle is for you to start with extra ammo. Now a lot of people in Modern Warfare 3 like Scavenger Pro, <coughs> sorry, because Scavenger Pro you start with extra ammo. Now for you to do that here, you would need Scavenger and this extra mags perk for you to start with extra mags and re-scavenge. You can't have this extra mags perk and re-scavenge, you would just start with extra mags and that's pretty much it. The next one is basically um, for you to have an uh, extra perk which is uh, kind of like the one from Black Ops 2, the wild card, for you to get that, not extra perk, extra attachment on your gun. So you can have three attachments on your gun. And then last but not least for this one, it is Danger Close. So like I said, guys, you would have to run Flat Jacket because a lot of people will be running Danger Close if they're using Noob Tube, C4s, Grenades, Semtex. <coughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, that's something I don't like, something I really don't like from this new one just because of the fact that <clears throat> sorry about that guys just because of the fact that a lot of people will be using nuke tubes they will be using c4s for sure and it's gonna get it's basically so the surroundings could break and you know being all that the new black battlefield type gameplay but it's just gonna be annoying because the blast radius is gonna be farther the damage is gonna be higher so hopefully with um flat jacket this will help so let's get down to the last tier which is elite and elite the first perk right here called gambler a lot of people got wrong a lot of people said that this was kind of like uh engineer on black ops 2 where you got a care package if you don't like that that kill streak you could change it but this is actually totally wrong this is actually for you to gamble a perk every time you spawn so if you have gambler and you have four perks and plus gambler so that fifth perk will change every time you respawn you be taking a gamble. You could get any perk anytime. You could have the same perk that you already have. So if I have quick draw and I have gambler and I spawn, I have, could possibly have quick draw twice. Now, if this is going to be working twice as powerful, I'm not sure. 
but I know uh, for a fact that you could get the same perk twice. This explains why on some of the gameplays you might see, you might have seen maybe ha um, that new perk, uh, Strong Arm, twice. Because I know that's what I saw, and I was like, why is it on there twice? And I was trying to figure that out, and finally it got confirmation from this one interview that I watched earlier today. And the next one we have Hardline, self-explanatory, one less kill to get your kill streaks. The one after that <clears throat> is ping and <clears throat> damn sorry about that guys <laughs> I just woke up not too long ago uh, ping and ping and takedown is a uh, ping is for you to when the enemy dies or I mean a teammate dies the enemy will pop up kind of like when the enemy pops up behind walls on your MMS on black ops 2 that's how they're gonna pop up an outline is gonna pop out and you will be able to find them and kill them now if you have takedown that's basically the counter if you kill somebody and somebody has ping they won't be able to see you they won't be able to see you at all so this this is basically the counter the next one is overkill and overkill is the same as always you can use two primary weapons two smgs two assault rifles all that good stuff obviously you guys saw that in one of the reveals where he had a sniper and he had an assault rifle and then the last one is Deadeye, which is kind of like stopping power, but there's kind of the twist to it is that unless you're like on a streak, once you're like, if you're on like a 3-4 kill streak, then that means your bullets are stronger. Your bullet damage is going to be stronger. So this is going to be powerful for you guys that are going to go for nuclears or high kill streaks. So basically those are all the perks. And from what I see right now, like a for sure one is going to be Blast Shield, maybe even this, um, this dead eye for sure I wouldn't really recommend gambler some of these perks are kind of useless I wouldn't use that satcom one the one uh, called the wiretap I wouldn't really use that one uh, steady aim is one I probably use strong arm is something I probably won't use you know right off the bat I'm thinking I might use 11 points for my perks because I usually don't run secondaries and then recently in black ops 2 I'll, I'll run maybe a c4 or EMP but that's not always necessary so these are all the perks guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video uh, i will start making class setups and maybe have some class setup videos before call of duty ghost comes out my next video about call of duty ghost will be talking about the new game modes and after that we'll be talking about the new kill streaks so hope like i said hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and last but not least thank you guys thank you very much for 800 subs i really appreciate it guys i'm already at 810 um, literally in this last week I gained 100 subs last Friday I gained 20 so this is very exciting for me I really appreciate it guys my goal of a thousand subs seems to it's gonna happen pretty soon maybe in the next few weeks if I if I keep going this way so I want to thank you guys very much don't forget to leave a like subscribe and share see you guys later